There are some little daily money habits that people do that are keeping them from saving up money and also achieving financial freedom. Being poor is a matter of choice. You can either develop the poverty habits and remain poor forever, or you choose to drop those habits and focus on the path of wealth. If you find this video in the course of your research, it means you're completely ready to drop those money habits that are keeping people poor and develop those habits that can lead to wealth. I was a victim of these habits and I will be revealing these normal habits that people engage in that are keeping them poor without them knowing. So make sure to stick around to the end of this video and get the full information. The number one normal money habit that are keeping people poor is having one income source. I used to have one income source before now when I graduated from the university and at the end of the year I have just very little savings in my account. I began finding out other ways to expand my income sources and I started to engage in freelancing, YouTubing like you're watching me do right now, even copywriting and I also invested in real sectors like agriculture. Since then, I have seen significant improvement in my financial life and in my savings. Having one income source, especially a salaried job, is a ticket to poverty. You will not be able to save for investment and emergencies. And in some cases, you may not be able to cover up for your basic needs. So it is important that you diversify your income sources to other aspects which you find interesting. Leverage on your skills and open up other sources of income. You can even build your own business as long as you are in charge of that income source. And you will see your savings multiply by 100% immediately you begin to diversify diversify your income. This brings us to the second normal money habit that people engage in but are keeping them poor and that is gambling. I am not a gambler but I've seen people who put their money into this betting activity even the little money they have goes into this betting activity. Gambling will never allow you save money or think of investment. It will only control you to see that gambling game as the only investment you can make to make money. Gambling is an addictive activity and most gamblers don't even know they are addicted to it. They are not aware that the little money they put daily into that betting activity is quite a significant amount of money when we choose to analyze it on a daily, monthly or yearly basis. I have never seen a gambler who is financially stable or financially secured. I don't know if you've seen one, but I'm assuring you that gambling cannot create financial stability. Rather, when you gamble with the little money you have and you win, luckily, you will end up putting that little money and the one you've won into that gambling activity and at the end of the day you are left with nothing and you are heading towards poverty. So gambling is one of these major, um, these major normal money habits that are keeping people poor without them knowing it. If you want to step out of poverty, then you must stop gambling if you're a gambler and look for other worthwhile assets to invest your money into. Consult financial experts on some stocks, bonds, real estate or some financial assets that will yield positive investment to you both in the short run and in the long run. The number three normal money habit is procrastination. So many of us are guilty of this particular habit. Myself, I am not excluded, but I have begun to find out the importance of time management. How time contributes to your financial stability and your financial security. Poor time management can lead to you not making the right investment decision or putting your money in the right project. Delaying important financial decisions like paying your bills early, depositing that savings into your savings account, or deciding on the right investment to put your money into may result in missed opportunities for financial growth and financial stability. Successful people don't procrastinate on important financial decisions. They think it through and thoroughly, but they make sure they fall within that time frame of making that important investment decision. Stop procrastinating and make good use of your time so that you can be financially stable and financially secured. The number four money habit is the Get Rich Quick Scheme. In 2017, one of the world's biggest Ponzi scheme, MMM, I believe some of you must have heard of it, it collapsed and it left 3 million Nigerians in poverty. These Ponzi scheme operators went away with about $18 million in profit. So you need to be wary of this get rich scheme. These operators who promise you high returns within the shortest time possible, like in minutes, days, or in months, you need to be wary of all these schemes. 
These Ponzi schemes have left people poorer than they are and some have been thrown into financial difficulty. Why others choose not to learn from the past events of these schemes? These schemes have no legitimate business that bring legitimate profit. They are only robbing Peter to pay Paul and at the end they collapse when Peter can no more bring more money to pay Paul. Be careful of all these schemes otherwise you will run into poverty. Number 5 normal money habit is not seeking financial advice. More most people make investment decisions based on their intuition and grapevine discussions. These poor financial habits have led them to financial losses. Learn to seek financial expert advice, especially when you want to go into huge financial investment decisions. This expert advice can go a long way in helping you to make better investment decisions and even preserve your money for the long term. The number six normal money habit is focusing on short term. Most people tend to focus on the short term gain at the expense of long term financial stability. And that is why you see people depending on their single salary job instead of expanding to other income sources so that they can get more income. If you want to make investment, do it in a way that that investment you are making with your money will be a passive source of income. That is even why you are not working in the long term, that investment is yielding money for you. Don't make investments whereby you are only going to make short term gain and in the long term you begin to face financial difficulties. This brings us to the number 7 normal money habits that people engage in that are keeping them poor and that is lack of budget. People tend to make expenditure without planning on how to spend their money. This will lead them to deep enhance into their savings accounts to set to emergencies as they fold you and if you have no savings you will have no investment and that will lead to poverty in the long run. Making a budget of how and where to spend your money is very crucial in this process of wealth creation. It will help you to achieve financial discipline and financial stability. You are a step power once you begin spending your money without a plan. Number 8 is lack of financial education. I said something about seeking financial advice in point 5. This point is a supplement of that habit 5. It is important that you educate yourself on investment rules, spending guides, savings guides and also personal finance guides. Attend financial summits or seminars, listen to podcasts on finance, read financial books, listen to videos such as you're doing right now concerning personal finance to help you make good investment decisions. And very importantly, subscribe to YouTube channels that are focused on finance. So consider subscribing to this channel. That aside, this financial education that you gain from these courses and these videos will help you to make good investment decisions, develop financial discipline and spend your money wisely so that you don't fall into that poverty lane or that poverty trap in the long run. Number 9 is dining outside. If you sit to analyze how much you spend a day or even how much you spend monthly or yearly in dining in the most flashy restaurants or even in less flashy restaurants, you will be surprised at how much money it is. Research has shown that the cost of eating outside is 30% more than the cost of eating at home. So it is advisable that you make those delicious dishes you see at the restaurant in your home because it is far more cheaper. And it will save you more money and that money it saves you can be invested in some worthwhile assets. I say this because I was once a person who eats outside and when I sit down to make my calculations on how much I am putting into this daily outside eating, I was marveled at how much I am going to save if I stop eating these dishes outside and rather making them in my home. And a bonus point for you is that home food are more healthier than eating outside. Yes, I said so, make your research. So after making this my calculation, I was able to save more money in my savings account and also put them towards good investments that are yielding positive interest for me today. And I believe it is a passive source of income to me and will keep yielding income for me into the nearest future. So this habit of people eating outside seems normal and cheaper until you sit down to do the mathematics in it and you find out that there are a lot of money you are going to save from stopping this habit. The number 10 point is contingency fund. Without this contingency fund account, you're going to run into huge credit card debt and even high interest rate debt. 
in times of emergencies. Emergencies are unexpected events, but we know they are going to happen in one way or the other in the future or tomorrow or today, it is going to happen. And we need to take steps towards these emergencies. And how do you do that? It is by saving towards these emergencies. And emergencies can come in form of your job loss. It can come in form of medical bills, in form of house repairs, in form of car repairs, so on and so forth. It must surely come, but you need to prepare towards it. I will advise you to open up two important accounts, that is the investment savings account and the contingency fund account. In these accounts, you put the savings you need for investing your money to yield passive income, you put it into this account, whereas for the contingency fund account, it is for emergencies, for contingencies that arise at unexpected times. The rule of the thumb here concerning this emergency fund account is to ensure that the money you saved in this account can cover up for three to six months of your living expenses in case of these emergencies happening especially your job loss like Warren Buffett said making money is 80% habit and 20% knowledge you need to work on your habits in order to make money otherwise you will not make money and you will be stuck in that poverty circle so that is it on the first part of this video. I don't want to make an hour long video or put out a video that is overloaded with information and at the end you gain nothing out of it. The second part of this video will be released very soon and I advise you to subscribe to the channel to get updated on the release of the second part of this video. Trust me, you don't want to miss out on any of these important points. I will be dropping the link to the second video in the description of this video. So make sure to subscribe and share this video to your friends and families and those who will find this video very helpful. Thank you for watching. Stay well. See you in the next video.